Hello everyone, this is Mimi's Crafty Shop and I have two um, little kits here that I'm gonna be putting on my Etsy store um, that I just got finished with and I'm super excited how they turned out because they're fairy themed and I'm all into the fairy stuff because of Ruby from Little Books. She has got me so inspired. I have had this kit for about three years now. It is the Fairy Whisper kit that um, Dream Etc. has and it is a wonderful kit and I love it. So this is what I kind of did my theme after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show each book and then uh, you'll get to see them. So um, let's start with this one first. It is a, let's see, like five and a half by about four. Um, like I said, it's got the Fairy Whisper kit to it. I have embellished the front. I put this pretty little fairy and these little fairy wings on there. Some really pretty ribbon, some lace here that uh, I'd put on there, and both sides with this pretty, uh, oh gosh, I never can think of the name of this, but y'all know what it is. It's bra um, braided uh, ribbon is what I call it, but I know that's not what the, the name of it is. So, let's get inside here. Okay, this one here is the one I'm going to show, and this is the bag, um, the green claps envelope that I made up on my trip, and actually, this fits inside there. And see that goes on the front, it just sticks on there. And this beautiful, let's see, it might have been in frame. This beautiful collage here I made up with this dually and added this little rosette here I made. Uh, there's this, this front fairy re reveals, it's got another little collage I made up. It says fairy. Just, I did a lot of collaging on this and added this blue lace trim. Another beautiful collage. These are removable, these little um, tags. And also I made up this little baby book. I love baby books. I think they're so cute. They're called mini books, but I'm always calling them baby books. And it's got a Verilco closure on it. And this actually fits in here, believe it or not. Uh, I tried to make it where it, it would fit. So it actually fits in there. See? And this right here, like I said, it's removable, but you could glue it down if you wanted to. Just to, I just thought this was such a pretty picture. So anyway, let's get started on this one. One of my absolute favorite kits, Dream Etc. And here's, I just did every, tea dyed everything up. Here's another little flip out using that same uh, little paper here. And if this has got like a little pocket right here, a little hidden pocket, some more tags. Just so cute. I absolutely love this kit. I just think it's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Let's bring it in a little bit. Okay, look at the little fairy there, isn't she, darling? There's another little cute picture of a fairy kissing her little bird. And this here's a tag that I just incorporated into the book. This actually right here is a big index um, card that actually my granddaughter did one day. We were playing around in my Mimi's craft room and we she did some stamping and some inking and then I tea dyed it. So it turned out really cute. I told her, I said, you're gonna, I'm gonna make you out to be a little crafting, crafting uh, little queen too. So she kind of crafts with me. Unfortunately, her mom is not really into it. And this one, I love this little girl right here. Their little blue embellishments. Another beautiful tag. And these are just some of those cards that are so cute. I love those cards. I know you call them something, but of course I can't think of the name of them. This pink little um, ribbon here that's uh, pleated. I like the pink tones on that one. I think this is actually that EPOP. It says, Real Beauty Shines From Within the Heart. I did use a few of hers in here that I had. 
Um, this is a flip out here and more little tags and a little bit cut butterfly cut out. And here's the other part of that index card my granddaughter did. And this right card right here, and I put like a little paper uh, rosette flower on here. This is part of a um, old uh, picture that I had that uh, kind of broke a little bit, so I, I'm, I'm using it in my in my crafts. It kind of tore. I love this blue paper. It's kind of iridescent. That's a little fairy. Did put this on here, and then I have these little charms down here that I added on the signature and did some little um, glitter glue on there. Love this right here with the peacock feathers. <clears throat> and it has a little peacock down there, so that's why I put the feathers on there. Got another beautiful card um, tag and love these index cards that are colored. They're some of my favorite. Got some little stuff on the ends of my paper clips. Isn't that so cute? This is such a precious little uh, kit. It's just so cute. That's that's actually a little pocket there. This is cute, and I did that little embellishment up with the doilies, layering, little um, bling there, little charm, little fairy pocket, little uh, envelope. Let's see. This is actually a big card. I mean, a big, I folded. Oh, I know what I did. I made one of those zing, zin, zine. I can't remember, what, how do you pronounce that either? Zine, I'm not for sure. And this right here is a little pocket. I mean, a little place where you could stick something if you wanted to. That is so cute, isn't that? I, I just, I just I sewed around that. Index card again, my granddaughter made. Another flip out and another little uh, tuck spot there. <clears throat> and there's the girl on the front again. Isn't she pretty? I did that card up. So there's that one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Okay, this right here is going with this little kit. I made up this little popsicle stick uh, fairy. You know, I love making these, and this is one that's kind of um, scalloped, and I did a lot of stamping on there, and it's got fairy wishes. It's just got all kinds of cute little things, so that's going with this little kit. Made this tag up. This is actually um, two envelopes, and that's a little, uh, oh, what do you call these? Um, paper clip in, in um, embell embellishment that I did up. And here, this right here flips out. And see, I did a little collaging on there. And this is two envelopes that I put together. And I have some stuff in here. This is just some paper, a little card. And uh, let's see. Now if I can ever get that back in there. This is some canvas um, muslin that I did some Mod Podge in on with paper, which I, it turned out really good. That was kind of an experiment that I did, and I really liked the way it turned out, so I did quite a bit of it. Another little writing space, some more journaling page, more collaging I did. And so, here's this, which I thought turned out fabulous. And if I can ever get it back together, that will be good. I'm not for sure. We'll just stick it like that for now. Okay, here is another little um, bag I made up. This is a brown paper bag that I had. It's got these little beautiful ephemera on the back, that beautiful picture of that girl. I did sew this pocket on here. And I absolutely love this uh, material right here. I don't have a lot of it. I can't remember where I got it from. My mom thinks I got it from Harvard. I'm not for sure, but I love it. And I've had it for, I've been saving it. Here's a little um, 
let's see, I don't even know if y'all can see it. I might not have been in frame. A little embellishment I made up, a little rosette I did. Here's a little uh, bling I did on one of those um, tags. Let's see, let's just pull this out of here. This is actually a pocket right up here, and it's got a bunch of ephemera in here. So here's this and this. And I kind of used a little bit more brighter colors on this. So I think a lot of this came from Tsunami Rose and um, Ephemera's Garden, Vintage, uh, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Never say her right. These are so cute. Look at that. I stamped on the back of these. Let me pull this out just a little bit. I don't know if I'm staying in frame or not. And this little book is so cute, y'all. It turned out adorable. And this is Ephemera's Gardens uh, little kit here. It is a small kit. It's like three and three quarters by um, two and three quarters. It's actually a bigger kit, but I made it smaller for my purpose. I did, I put this on the side here, some tags that came with it, and I made up this little small baby book. Again, another small one. Um, let's start here in the front. We've got a little envelope, a uh, little tuck spot here. I'm not sure she may be stuck. Okay, there you go. And you know, there's writing space in all these. I tea dyed, not, yeah, I tea dyed everything. Isn't that beautiful? Another little belly band there with some cute tags that I fixed up. This little girl right here is adorable. I love her and I put a little backing on her, sewed that on her there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, another girl here. And another one here. I fact these two. This one is so precious. Look how that tea dyed up. Isn't that gorgeous? So, and I did this little flip out here. I seen somebody do that the other day um, on, I think it was Junk Journal Junkies, or I'm not for sure which, but one of those. Um, and I was so, I thought that was the coolest thing, so I incorporated that in my, into my little book here. And this is a pocket right here. And here is a flip out. Love this color. You know, I kind of just went with all kinds of colors, you know, because that's just what I did. And this has got some little bitty pictures on there. You can barely see them. Another flip out, little place you can write, do some writing. This is, um, I dyed this. It's a real pretty pink color that I used food coloring. Another gorgeous picture here that I backed. More beautiful paper. Another little pocket here. And I did a little, put a little bling. It said made with love. So this turned out adorable. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. And thank y'all so much for your lovely comments.